Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm really excited because I have the Manizer Sisters from The Balm. I have never used The Balm cosmetics before, so I'm really excited to just try out some of their products and I thought it was a really neat idea to get a little face palette so that I could do a full look for you all. Uh, this has a highlighter, which is Mary Luminizer, which is a cult favorite. Uh, I've heard, been hearing about this ever since I got into highlighters about three months ago. It seems like everybody loves this, so I was really excited to get my hands on it. This also has Cindy Luminizer, and this could be used as a highlighter. It is shimmery. Uh, I would say it's probably better as a blush because it does have that little bit of a pink tone to it. And then there is Betty Luminizer, and that is a shimmering bronze color. So what I'm going to do today is use this for a full face look. This is eye safe, which I think is really awesome. So I'm going to do an eye look with this. I'm going to use it as blush. I'm gonna use it as bronzer. And I'm also gonna use it as a lip topper. If you are interested in seeing me use all these products and seeing how they perform on the face, then stick with me. I'm actually wearing it right now. And spoiler alert, I really, really enjoy these. And I am very big into highlighters right now. And this is a gorgeous highlighter and I can see why it's a cult favorite. So I'm really excited to demo this with you all. And if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then just stick with me. So my face is primed. I have foundation on. I also have primer on my eyes, eyeshadow primer, and I put powder over that, just regular face powder. And then I also put regular face powder on over my foundation as well. And so that will just help everything blend out more easily. I am going to start my eye look with the Betty Luminizer, which is just that really pretty uh, kind of a shimmery bronzer. And I'm going to take a crease brush and I'm going to put that in my crease. I'm going to start with a windshield wiper motion to deposit the pigment. And this pigment is a little bit sheer, which is great since you're, you know, it's a face palette mainly. This is eye safe, just so you know, uh, and it's very buildable. So I'm gonna go in a second time into that pan and add some more pigment. It will be hard to overdo the pigment with this palette which is, in my opinion, is great. If you, especially if you are a beginner with makeup, then you don't have to worry so much about looking like you have black eyes. Next, I'm going to use a flat packing brush. I'm going to dip into the Mary Luminizer and I'm going to just put a sheer wash of that all over my eyelids. This shade is extremely sheer on the lids. Therefore, once we get this on our lids, I'm actually gonna go back in and put it on wet just to make it really pop and give some oomph. So I'm gonna take that same flat packing brush and I'm going to spray it with some uh, Fix Plus from MAC. This is actually the coconut one. It smells incredible. Uh, any setting spray will work for this or you could even use water if you wanted and some people even use contact solution to wet their brushes and now i'm going to take the wet brush uh, i like to use a specific spot on my product when i'm using it wet using a wet brush in a product can sometimes change the consistency of a product so i always choose the right side corner and i'm going to just put that all over my lid and it's going to really bring out that beautiful, not really metallic, just more of kind of a frosted sheen. And feel free to wet your brush as often as you need to to ensure that that product is wet and really vibrant. I'm going to use that same brush and I'm going to go into the Cindy Luminizer, which is a really pretty kind of a pink blush color. And I'm going to put that on the center of my eyelid and again this color is really sheer I am using that wet brush which helps a lot just to kind of make it pop more but you may have to dip into your pan several times to get a decent color payoff I'm going to take a pointed definer brush and I'm going to wet it with my MAC setting spray I'm going to dip into the Betty Luminizer which is that bronzer shade and I am going to define the V of my outer eye using that color. And by wetting 
the brush, I'm just making that color deeper and prettier. I am noticing some fallout. So you might keep a little powder brush handy just to kind of wipe that away. Next I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm just going to blend all this out. Make sure that's all blended and there's no harsh edges. You especially want to blend between the darker shade and your V and that lighter pink shade that's on the middle of your eyelid. Last I'm using an accent brush and I'm going to dip into that Mary Luminizer. And this brush is not wet. I'm gonna dip in dry and I'm going to highlight under my brow bone. You can stop there or if you wanna keep going just to kind of make your eyes pop a little bit more, you can use that same accent brush and you can dip into Betty Luminizer, which is that dark bronzing shade. And you can do an outline on your top lash line and on your bottom lash line. I have curled my lashes and I've put mascara on, so now I'm gonna do the rest of my face. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go into the Betty Luminizer, which is a bronzer, and I'm just going to use that to bronze. Ooh, that's got some pigment, people. Oh, geez. <laughs> you like the stripe? Looks pretty good, huh? We'll blend that out in just a minute. This bronzer does have some sheen to it. Uh, because of that, I don't know that I would recommend wearing this to work, especially if you work in a conservative office. I would never wear this to work. But on the weekends, I love wearing bronzers that have a little bit of sparkle in it, a little bit of shimmer. And this definitely does. It just kind of makes you look more youthful and more dewy. I think they're beautiful, but like I said, I don't know that I would ever wear them to work. Gonna be very careful this time. I'm gonna barely dip into that bronzer and I'm going to just bronze up the top of my forehead. Because it is shimmery, I like to go in with a light hand on my forehead. You can either do that or you could just grab one of your matte bronzers and use it on your forehead. Last but not least, I'm going to take Mary Luminizer and I'm going to use it as a highlighter on the tops of my cheekbones. And to add that highlighter, I'm using actually, a, it's an angled blush brush. Can't say that. Blush brush. I said that was the last thing I was going to do, but I lied. I'm actually going to go in and use the Cindy Luminizer as a blush. I like to use a stipling brush for my blush just because it makes sure that I don't get too much product and look too pink because I already have some redness from broken capillaries on my cheeks so I don't want to go overboard. So that stipling brush because it has very loose bristles on it, it doesn't apply too much product. I have bags under my eyes today. I don't think I've told you all this but I have been dieting for like the last four months and I've lost 30 pounds, which is great. Uh, but there are some days where I just put on water weight. I don't know if I ate too much sugar yesterday or what, but I can always tell when I put on water weight because I get bags, these really heavy bags under my eyes. I also, I weighed four pounds more this morning than I did yesterday morning. So for some reason, I don't know if it's hormones or if I just ate something maybe that had too many carbs in it, too much sugar in it, and maybe it kind of caused me to blow it up a little. But I tell you what, carbs are sneaky. They sneak carbs into everything nowadays, so it can be hard to, and same with added sugar, it can be hard to avoid it. I'm gonna put some lipstick on and call this look good. I'll be right back. I applied NYX Liquid Suede Life's a Beach lipstick, and just for fun, I am going to go over that lipstick with the Mary Luminizer, just to kind of give it a little bit of a metallic sheen. You could do a gradient with this. You could just put that Mary Luminizer just on uh, kind of that pout of your lip and then the very top middle of your lip. That would be really pretty. I'm putting it all over. See how it gives that pretty little bit of a sheen to that lipstick? I really like that. It's very pretty. 
Okay, so this is the final look and my verdict is I really love this. These are some beautiful colors and I love that they are eye safe and so I can use them as eyeshadow. This could be great to bring with you uh, if you're traveling because it would pretty much do everything you need it to do. Eyeshadow, uh, pretty highlighter, pretty bronzer, pretty blush. I mean, you pretty much have it made with this. Um, and then that lip topper, that's pretty fun. I'm enjoying that. It's actually the first time I've ever done that. It lightens up the shade and it just gives it kind of a metallic sheen. So. Um, my verdict is I think this is beautiful. Uh, you know, like I said, I've never used the balm before. So this is my very first time. I'm very impressed with the quality of the product. And I know that Mary Luminizer is a cult favorite and I can see why it's a, seems like a really great product. So I'm going to wear this all day. And so down below, I'll let you know how it wore, uh, how many hours of wear I got out of each product. And yeah, I think this is just a great little palette. Hi everyone, I just wanted to give a quick little update on the Manizer Sisters because I've been wearing this for a couple of hours now and I've noticed some interesting things. Um, first, I wanna say that the highlighter is gorgeous. Um, it is lasting beautifully, that shine. It kind of reminds me of Becca Moonstone just a little bit, but it just has a really beautiful frosted sheen to it and it makes my skin look dewy and youthful and gorgeous. So I really like this highlighter a lot. The Cindy Luminizer, out of all three of these, it has the least sheen to it. Uh, it's a little bit frosted, but not significantly frosted. And I think it would make a really great everyday blush because it's highly pigmented, but it shears out on the skin some. So it's kind of hard to overdo it, which is what I like with blushes. Since it's not a very high sheen or high frost, it really looks natural and beautiful on. So this is a blush that I may end up rotating through weekly and using quite a bit. I'm excited about it. The bronzer, you know, I said that I wouldn't wear this to work um, and it does have a frosted finish, but out of all of these shimmering bronzers I have ever used, this looks the most natural. I was really surprised because I, when I swatched it, in fact, I have it swatched right here, it has quite a bit of a sheen to it, but when I'm looking in the mirror, it doesn't give off a shimmery appearance. It doesn't look matte. It just looks like a really pretty kind of glowy look. So I think that I would consider wearing this to work. I think that it is natural enough and it's definitely beautiful enough, but it's natural enough. Unless you got really close to my face, I don't think anyone would really notice the difference between this, which has more of the frosted sheen and a matte bronzer. Um, I mean, it just looks really pretty and glowy. It's the best way I know to describe it. So I am thinking that I'm going to use this trio a whole lot, which I am surprised and excited about. I, based on the way it's wearing right now, I would say that I would consider wearing these to work and I would consider wearing them on even a daily basis. So I'm really excited about this trio. I think it's a great buy. And I think if you've been considering getting the balm, Mary Luminizer or any of these, I think that they are a great investment and I think you'll get a lot of use out of them. I just want to thank you all for being here with me today. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. I hope you're warm wherever you are. It's still chilly here. I think it's like 30 degrees out which isn't nearly as bad as it was yesterday but it's a little bit cold so uh, just stay warm and just have a great day and I will hopefully see you all next time bye